Arsenal should head into the new season with more optimism than they entered the previous campaign. Performances remained patchy at best, but there were several positives to end the season. Granit Zaka was successfully reintegrated into the side, David Lewis stood tall when the Gunners needed him most, and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang enhanced his reputation as arguably the finest centre forward in the division. There was also silverware, with Arsenal winning over Chelsea in the FA Cup final. But that can't gloss over an eighth-place Premier League finish, with a points tally only two better than Sheffield United and Burnley, and ten points off fourth-place Chelsea. Arteta will know better than anyone the need for reinforcements, but the Spaniard could find himself hamstring by finances. Now let's look at the players who need to be offloaded from the squad and who should be in the squad for the upcoming season. Lyon are expected to sell Hussam Aour this summer, according to Lequip, with Arsenal reported to be front of the queue for the French schemer's services. Arsenal sports director Edu is said to have had several meetings with his Lyon counterpart Janinho Pernambucano about lowering the French club's €60 million Euros asking price, with the Gunners prepared to throw Matteo Gendouzi in as part of the deal. Them unwanted by Barcelona, unlikely to be retained by Bayern Munich, Felipe Coutinho is a player in search of a new home for 2021 season. The Brazilian midfielder emerged as one of the finest attacking talents in Europe during a four-year stint at Liverpool and is well suited to the Premier League. So signing a player with such calibre is a must for Arsenal and boost their new season. M Real Madrid are reported to have turned down the Gunners' opening gambit to take midfielder Dani Sabalas back to London on loan for next season, but Arteta will be keen to add the Spaniard's spark to a midfield that lacked it too often last term. Already proved his quality at Arsenal, Sabalas might be the best solution for the position as of now. M Abdoulaye de Kauri fell well short of his true form as Watford were relegated from the Premier League. The Frenchman is a powerhouse on his day though, and his ability to get box-to-box -box would add a fresh dimension to Arsenal's engine room. Them the London club have been linked with a move for Kaladu Kalabali since the last days of Arsene Wenger. Liverpool and others have shown that breaking the bank for top talent is a risk worth taking when identifying centre-backs, and Arsenal should be brave in meeting Napoli's €70 million Euros asking price. Millimeters an ugly confrontation with Neil Maupay following defeat to Brighton saw Matteo Gendouzi banished from the squad by manager Mikel Arteta for the run-in. French giants Paris Saint-Germain and Lyon have been linked with the midfielder but are thought to be put off by Arsenal's £40 million asking price. M. Mesut Ozil failed to make Arsenal's match day 20 for any of their last 10 games. Despite his manager decrying a lack of creativity in his side, it seems the German World Cup winner does not feature in the Spaniards' plans. But Ozil, aged 31, is prepared to dig his heels in. The remainder of his contract is worth upwards of £14 million, and he can rightly argue he is within his rights to honour it, after all parties entered into the new deal in good faith. Mesut Ozil's insistence on seeing out his contract the German is the club's top earner on a reported £350,000 per week means Arteta must decide whether to make use of the German's creative qualities or keep him as the world's most expensive outcast. Getting him off the wage bill would open up plenty of possibilities for the Gunners, but getting Ozil to budge will be no easy task. M. Arsenal ended the season playing with a back three, with the experienced Schadron Mustafi deployed on the right-hand side. Failed to dispel the belief that over the course of 90 minutes a multitude of mistakes can be drawn out of the Germany international. Getting him out of the squad is the best for Arteta's arsenal. M.A. successful loan spell at Besiktas could pave the way for Mohamed Elneny to end his unhappy spell at the club, with the Turkish side reportedly ready to meet Arsenal's €10 million Euros asking price for the Egypt midfielder. It is the best possible option for both the club and the player. M. Socrates Papastathopoulos has failed to live up to the hype surrounding his move from Borussia Dortmund and was mostly used as a substitute to eat up time during the run-in. It is no doubt that Arteta is trying hard to get rid of the player from the squad. M. Who do you think Arsenal should sign this season? Please leave your suggestions in the comments section below. Thank you.